woke up to a phone call today from a buddy of mine who is stranded. His truck died on him. To turn down the copyright strike. This is not the Duramax's first time saving a vehicle. I saved that guy who was stuck in the sand down at the beach. I saved uh, Nick's Jeep when he first got it. So the Duramax has quite a few saved vehicles under its belt. Luckily, my truck itself has never needed help yet. Uh, so let's hope that doesn't happen. This thing's as solid as a fucking rock. Wasn't that like a Chevy ad campaign slogan at some point? Hey, buddy. What happened? It's dead, dude. Look at all this stuff I got hooked up to my battery. Like, this wire harness is like something that could power up like an entire house. The fuck is that for? I don't know. Automatic start, some other. I don't have any mods on it. All right, well, let me get out the cables. We're going to jump it. The Duramax to the rescue. Now, the question is do you want to jump it with this battery? Or with that battery? I have a choice. Obviously that one makes more sense, but okay. yeah, you got two. It's so dead, dude, I came in and locked the truck. Bye, buddy. <laughs> what the fuck? Is that a thing that just happens? The alarm goes off when the battery gets hooked well, I'm, up? I'm assuming the truck thought it was locked, so it like, thinks it's being broken into. We're gonna do a uh, controlled test here. This is to prove that it really is dead. Oh, Ooh, yeah. <laughs> It's gonna need you to do, uh, sit and bake for a little while. You're gonna while. let that bake for a little bit. It's been like five minutes. This truck's gonna start in three, two, one. <sighs> Dude, another 30 oh. seconds, we would have had it. I'm just too impatient. Look at my look at my gauges, they flicker. Wow. What does that mean? What does that mean, YouTube? If anybody knows anything about Nissans, what does that mean? We saw a Cummins diesel. It goes. Third time's the charm. All right, headlights are off, everything's off. All right, truck gonna start in three, two, one. Oh! oh my God. I didn't think it was gonna do it. So we're gonna let that run for a little while. We're also gonna make a quick trip to the uh, P.O. box today because I got a call from the post office. The post office called me and said, you have too much shit in here, you need to come get it, so. That's good. Did you ever do that, dude? Go ahead, do the honors. Which one are we again? Oh boy. What's this? That's to the big box. That's to the big box. This must have been what they were talking about because obviously there's not a lot in there. We have mail in locker number 43. 43. Okay. Okay, here, here we go. Great. Look, this one has dogs on it. This is exciting. How many letters? You got two. Here, eight. from Aiden. Okay, you ready? Yeah. Camshaft, twin turbo kit, earthbound for the Super Nintendo. This is from Sean in New Jersey. Oh. Wow, a Toyota Corolla. Thank you so much for the little Z06. I can put it in my car when I go to car shows me this. My toy car. Look at this. Dear Mike, hello from Central Missouri. So the bull likes my own that she works for a small clothing company called Squishy Faces, which gives a portion of its proceeds to animal rescues that are not state funded or struggling to get the doors open. Ethan and Sabrina from Squishy Faces, thank you so much. So if you couldn't hear what I was saying there really fast, a portion of the proceeds go to uh, animal rescue groups. So that's obviously a good cause. Thank you very much for the package. Your dogs get so much love. They do. I think that's what the majority of the fan base is. I think at this point, people like the dogs more than they like me. They got you stuff because they love you. I will put their website in the description. If you are reading this, it's too late. That's from the Drake album, right? Yeah. yeah the... <laughs> oh my God. What is this? Wow. That could have been like, out of anything I could have done that to, this could have been the, like, yeah, the worst thing. Piece of glass. Yeah. <laughs> 
this is a frame drawing of the Z06. It's not a drawing, I'm sorry, it's engraved. This is my favorite. Pablo hey, Escobar. I met you a couple of months ago at the Pittsburgh meet. So this is from Aiden. He has an Instagram and a YouTube channel called Currently Trending. Got one more letter here. Oh, guys, guys, you can't be doing this. I mean, really. Feel free to send me guns in the mail. Just make sure they're packaged properly. And now back to the scheduled video. Oh. There we go. That would be such a good, like. <laughs> Was that that loud? So the thing that we have to accomplish today, number one is we are gonna go back at some point to see if your truck still works. I hope, which, dude. I hope. I got stuff to do. I feel like it's gonna be dead. Now the second thing is Andy's gonna be here in a little while. He is going to be downloading the tune that's currently on my Z06, the custom tune that I have done on it because the Corvette is going back to the Chevy dealership in a few days for a recall. When they fix this recall, whatever they have to do, I'm not sure if they're going to you know, put the stock tune back on the car or not, but just in case they do that, just in case they reflash, it, I definitely need to make sure that my custom tune is downloaded first. That way it can be put back on the car when the service is done. We're doing a little off-roading. Until Andy gets here, we have a little time to kill. Stupid. This is why I never take my truck off-road. I mean, don't get me wrong, this is fun, this is great, but it takes me so long to get these wheels clean, and now look at them, filthy. Look at that. I nicked my rim. Bullshit. I'm not sure that's kind of like private property, so we just want to show oh, you. Oh, okay. Back I just take pictures back there. Like, oh, okay. You know, like, <laughs> I drive off like that. And that's just another reason why I rarely go off-roading. It's tough to find a good spot to do it. All right, that was fun, but enough of that nonsense. See, he also has a GTI, which I think he should make videos on this, too, because, I mean, people like this. There's a market for that. You ready? I'm ready. Ooh! He needs a new battery so bad. Wow. Oh it worked. That shocks the hell out of me, but there we go. We won't make it through the night. All right, buddy. Well, I'm going to head out. I got to get home to Andy. See you, man. See you next time. Alright, and with that, I do believe that Andy is here. We will go out and see in just one second. Oh, there he is. Hey, buddy. Are you? I'm at Mike's house. Right Tell now. Nick he's gay as AIDS. I got lost in fucking suburbia hell here, so. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, if you just pop them top pieces out, the rest, the, the the bottom piece will pop out too. You know what I mean? You got it? All right, where are we going for a beer then? It's good that Andy's helping him because Nick needs a lot of help. Uh, I'm trying to tell Nick to come over, guys, and uh, Nick's being a bitch. He's bitching out. Yeah, as always. But look, Andy, I got you this bullet. This is a 7.62 round bottle opener. You could use that tonight when you're drinking. Tell Nick he can have one of these. Nick, uh, Mike has a bullet. I think it's a whistle. It's not a whistle. <laughs> Why does it have a thingy on it? 
Oh, is it a bottle opener? Yeah, that's what I said. It's oh, a bottle opener. I didn't even, dude. I'm, I'm trying to. I'm look, holding five look, different this conversations. Is, at the I, same I know. Time. I know. I know. It's hard, but look at this. This is a, a bullet shot glass too. Isn't that cool? Oh, that's pretty cool, actually. Oh, yeah, look at that. I got that in the P.O. box the other day. No shit. Yeah, I figured you'd like it. I would like that. Where's there the alcohol? Go. Don't Straight do that, guys. Don't send alcohol <laughs> through the mail. Bad idea. So as you can see, Andy is here, and he's going to be working on the tune on the car. Well, not working on it, really just... He, he is vlogging while you're on the phone. Yes, yes, he is. Downloading here in a second. As soon as Nick... <laughs> Nick's just taking up everyone's time. I know. It's fucking crazy. It's like vlog central and fucking suburbia hell. You know how many times I got fucking lost coming here? I've, that's why I said. I said, text me when you think you're here, because most likely... Well, I seen your someone... truck park across yeah, the street. There you go. That's yeah. what I said, yeah. <laughs> I was like, oh, I'm here now. Why don't you come over and find out? Yeah, why don't you just come over here, dude? Just come the fuck over. Well, stop doing? doing shit to your car. Just come the fuck over. What are you doing to it at 10 o'clock at night? Why am I from here at 10 o'clock at night? <laughs> Are you racing it, dude? Are you about to race it? No, I'm putting a nitrous set up on it right now. Are you no, really? No, you're fucking not. <laughs> <laughs> I know you're not because Andy's over here with me. <laughs> yeah, seriously. <laughs> All right, Nick. Well, Nick, if, if you want to come over here, dude, we'd love to have you. Bring some beer. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Andy, do you, want to, do you want to see him, dude? He'd like to see you. You coming over? What? What's up, puppies? What are you doing? Oh my God, you're like big. <laughs> Nick, up? we got bulldogs, we got bullets, and if you bring it, we're gonna have beer too. You should come yeah. over, buddy. Are you coming? I mean, over here. <laughs> 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 All right, Nick, fuck you, dude. We're gonna get to work. We'll see you later, buddy. <laughs> I'm gonna download the tune. Did you plug your thingy in? No, I didn't. You know where it is, right? Yes, I do okay, know I'm, that. Dude, I'm just checking. I do know that. I don't fucking know. <laughs> and then turn to the accessory mode. So this will be interesting. Do you think the dealership's gonna know that the car is modified? Not that it matters for like a recall, but. Well, if you put this on YouTube, they're going to. <laughs> <laughs> they probably won't know, to be honest. I, yeah, I don't think they'll know either. I have the car on stealth mode exhaust. So by all accounts, like you would not know that this car is modified. Not that I think it really matters for, for our purposes here, but. Well, the only benefit is the fact that you really can't see the headers. Nope. So that is a plus, you know? The cold air intake looks pretty factory. Let's open the hood. You wouldn't really, even if they, I don't think they're gonna have to open the hood. No, not if it's an airbag thing. What the hell is that tube What's sticking that out? What's that over there? I don't know. That way it was like that red I... wire right here. <laughs> Dude, that's just for my LED underglow lights. Street glow. Your street glow lights. <laughs> I mean, that looks pretty, pretty stock. Yeah. The ported blower, you would never know. No, Employee. you're not going to know that. You would see the heat, the thermal reduction plates underneath of the tail. Yeah. But you know, honestly, unless they're like really, really <laughs> looking, they're not going to, they're not going to know. Yeah. But the minute they lift this thing up and they see the headers, they're going to know it's, you know, it's got headers or whatever. It's just a uh, totally stock Z06. So that's it. Andy's already done here while we're talking. Yeah, we're, we're bullshitting around too much. It took like three minutes. It took like three fucking minutes. I was gonna ask you like how long does this take, but it, obviously It's done. Yeah, it's not already, long. it's in there, it's good to go. So I have it just in case, and just in case you ever need it or anything or the memory gets wiped off the easy or something like that, it's in here, so. Good shit. Yeah, new laptops. And this guy was trying to talk me into, at, at, uh, I'll just call it uh, BB, okay? okay. Um, was trying to talk me into a thousand dollar fucking laptop, dude. Yeah, you don't need that. I'm like, what do I need a thousand dollar laptop for? <laughs> what am I gonna do with that? You can turn your truck, your car off. Roger that. And then pull that cord out as well. Sounds good. Yeah, mine was 700. It does everything you need it to do. And the, the real, the best way would be to build one yourself. I don't know. That's what everyone on YouTube tells me. Well, I don't yeah, know if, I mean, if the YouTube built, experts know what they're talking about, but. Yeah, I built you know. <laughs> God damn, man, these cords. Someone's texting me and shit. Andy, I, I, I pulled your plug, buddy. So we were talking about what mods that I'm gonna do next for next season to make this thing, <laughs> make this thing an absolute monster next year. So the first thing we need to do is drag radials. We're gonna go with an 18 inch setup on the rear. Something a drag cool. pack, a basic drag pack. Yep. So I mean, skinny's in the front, you know, meat's in the back. Um, something lighter than these wheels obviously is gonna help uh, any type of reaction time or 60 foot that you're, you're gonna need to get. Yep. And you were telling me about I need to 
make sure I'm a really good driver yes. because I'm I got the manual, dude. So I need to. You got the man stick, so <laughs> the man stick takes a little bit more uh, concentration and the plan finesse. Is, is to get into the nines is my goal, and that's going to that be shouldn't tough. be that hard. I mean, think? yeah, I mean if you if you get your driving skill down with the six speed and or seven speed, which you're only going to use four yeah, years yeah, of it. Yeah. If not, you might even use just three years of it actually with your gearing in this thing. Mm. But I mean, it's just going to take practice. You know, that's all it comes down to. You're definitely making the power to do a nine second pass. Um, that, you know, the unfortunate truth is the, the six speed or the freaking, I keep, I'm so used to six well, speed stuff. Everyone guy. knows what you mean. Yeah. yeah. This car is not the manual transmission speed. Corvette guys. Um, <laughs> it's just going to, it's going to take time for you to, to learn how to control your launch and to get out of the hole. Once you're out of the hole, once you're out of, you're, you're going, you're good yeah. to go. Going to second, going to third, it's going to fourth that. need be, it's already there. It's, that, it's, it's the your launch reach. that makes it's the whole run. It's the it? launch. That 60 foot is so key to a quick quarter mile time. Mm -hmm. It's it's crazy. It's just that, that that manual transmission is a blessing and a curse all uh, in the sky. Yeah. It really we is. Love it. It's love a it. blessing because it's, you know, guys, if you know how to drive manual, you're you're gonna understand this. Manuals are freaking amazing to drive. They're so much better than automatic. Sorry, Nick. Um <laughs> But it's the truth. They are. Like, you can have so much more fun. You can high rev, you can low rev, you can do whatever you want with a man. so much more fun. But when it comes to racing, whether it's circuit curves or autocross or circuit or drag racing, manuals are just a whole different animal, especially with drag racing because of the launching that you have yeah. to do with them. Um, that's pretty much what it comes down to. Other I mean, than that, though, learn. what else should we do? Before we do any more mods, I do want to see where I'm at on the track with proper tires and weather that's yeah. warmer than 40 degrees. And, and then I'll know where I'm at. Next season, we'll see where I'm at with the proper wheel and tire setup. And then we'll talk about more power. Yeah, 300, 300, 300 shot nitrous. <laughs> All right, well, you got your stuff, buddy? You got my stuff. You got your bag? I got my bullet. Hell yeah. Got my cup. Thank you very From much. From a subscriber. Appreciate that shit. Absolutely. Pow, pow. Keep you. <laughs> Keep you club. All right, brother. Have a safe trip home. Yeah. Peace out, Girl Scout. Thanks I'm again. I'm going to find my way out of fucking suburbia here. Yeah. Earlier somehow. All right. So when you get up to the trees there, you just make a right. And then your best way would probably be to make a right out of the neighborhood. The quickest way to get to your house would be to take, if you're going, you're going back to your house in Lancaster. Yeah. So the quickest way would be to go in my house in High Spire. I have two of them. Okay. Now I'm going to okay. go <laughs> uh, I didn't know. 83 South and then take 83 yeah. South to 283. GPS will probably take you I'll there. just do GPS. Yeah, oh, it'll take you that story. way. Another funny story. I have another customer who lives in this fucking complex. Do you? No shit. Who, who is it? He has a black Trans Am. He lives Yeah, yeah, he somewhere. lives. I met him. It's black and yep. gold. Yep. HRA edition. And it's like super clean. Dude, I built that whole car. Did you? I built that entire... I asked him. I small built that whole fucking, fucking world. Car, I don't know if they can see Cam, us at all right now, but yeah. small world. No shit. Built that whole car for him. He loves me. Yeah, he's a great. He's, he's a great gonna be dude. a Motorama. He'll be, he's he? at Motorama every year. Yeah, he seemed like a cool. I pulled yeah. in there to make a phone call once, and he came out to the. I was in, in the cul-de-sac there. Yeah, I was little in the ZS6, yep. and he came out. And he's like, "Didn't this car used to be wrapped?" And I was like, "Yeah." And I was like, "You have the Trans Am, right?" He's like, "Yeah, I've seen that car around." Yeah, so. he's one of my first big customers. Peace out, Girl Scout. I'll see you soon, and I'll let you know how it goes. Oh, deuces, mother. <laughs> Thanks again, buddy. Yeah. Later. This is where I'm going to end the video, but I sincerely hope that you guys enjoyed this one and an update on the car will be coming soon. As always, if you're stopping in for the first time, please subscribe. Take care. Have a great day.